What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. I am Chef Lee. And as you can see, I'm off duty. Today I look a little bit disheveled because I'm in the middle of doing some DIY, but I want to bring you this video because it's time to tap uh, and bottle the Black Horse Road Hot Cider. So sit back, relax, and we'll get into it. guys so as I said in the intro today we're going to tap and bottle and actually taste this black uh, horse road hop cider it's one of their only hop cider I believe from the greater good the brewing company they're they're one of their only presses um this is one of the ones I wanted to try for a long time but I didn't because when I ordered it I didn't order the right one stupid me anyway like I said I'm looking a bit of a mess because I'm in the middle of doing some DIY don't really watch that uh also, before we get into it, uh, for 75% of you guys who watch this and are not subscribed, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. It doesn't cost anything and it helps my channel grow and it helps me to produce new content for you. Also, I've brought some, uh, some, some red bottle caps. I did say in the last video that I was going to buy some so I can differentiate between the three different beers that I have, well, or will have in the uh, pantry. Uh, if you would like to get yourself some some of these i will leave a link in the description box below uh yeah and if you haven't seen that video where i i uh brew this that'll be up there somewhere or in the link in in the link in the description box below one of the places anyway without further talking too much let's get this on oh also i've had a, a couple of uh a couple of suggestions from subscribers uh because i use these these little bottles uh, to use something called Cooper's Carbonated Drops. Apparently, you drop drop it in there, and because I seal mine, it helps it keep it a bit more, uh, a bit keeps the fizz, uh, which is something that I've never really had a problem with. In fact, anytime I do use them and open this, it pretty much overflows anyway. So, uh, but I was going to order them, but I forgot because, like I said, I was doing DIY, and also that when I am tapping this, don't open the uh, the the dial at the back. It's supposed to be uh, pulled with the pressure that's in it, which. Because of the previous one that I have, the pinter one, you always have to let out the, the pressure at the back. So I'm, today I'm not going to do that, and we're going to see how that turns out instead. Uh, and hopefully I won't make a mess and I won't lose too much of uh, the cider. And I'm looking forward to actually tasting this one because it, it's, it's, it's something new. Uh, I've tasted the Cloudy Nine and... What was the other one? Uh, Cloudy Nine and... Anyway, one of the other ones I tasted. Uh, and they were really nice. Uh, so I'm looking forward to this one. Anyway, enough talking. Let's do it. Then so here we go. I've got it all set up. Now I'm not going to em I'm not going to turn off the pressure and open the valve at the back. Uh, and we're just going to see how this uh, goes out. I got it at 45 degree angle, and hope that the pressure pushes the uh, the cider through. Let's go. That's a lot of pressure. And as you can see right now, it's just a lot of fun with, there we go, it's just a lot of fun with a little bit of cider at the bottom, so hopefully that will just uh, uh, come down a little bit and I get more cider. But, got myself a glass, going to have a little try. Here it goes, looks nice though, looks nice and golden. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's really nice. I don't think that's going to hang around a long time. Ooh. Oh, I don't think that's going to hang around. I'm going to have to order another one of these, I think. Ooh. Oh, yes. Most definitely. That hopper function definitely works. All right, let's get some more out.
Well, I'm just going to let this sit for a little while and see, see how it changes. And uh, I'll bring you back in a minute. Okay, so I've left it for about a good 30 seconds. And you can see that it's uh, the head has gone down quite considerably. It was like this big and now it's like that. Also, additionally, I have just let out some of the, uh, some of the gas out the back. Uh, just so it's not so frothy. I'm just testing it out, see if it does work, see if it doesn't work. But I definitely think this is my favourite to date. Get a bit more out, let's see. So again, it's very frothy. But again, just have to leave it for a few seconds and then see how big the head is there. So that will shrink down by about a half or a quarter. Anyway, next up is to bottle. So I'm going to move you around and get you to the bottling station. All right, so I'm going to start filling the bottles. I'm going to run this into time lapse uh, so it's a little bit quicker and you don't have to stand there and watch me do it for five or ten minutes in the map, depending on how long it's going to take. Right, so all them are nice and full, and as you can see, I've still got a jug full and a pint full. So, and I'm pretty sure there's still some more left in the pint, not much, but just uh, probably uh, probably another half or quarter of a of a jug. So, I think I might be getting a little bit lean later on. Maybe. Anyway, next stop is the bottling, uh, the capping. So uh, I'll do that again in time lapse. So uh, I'll see you in a bit. Alright guys, so that was all good. It's done, they're all bottled, they're ready to go into the pantry. So now I've got three different types of beer. I have the Weiss Nights, which is in the metal or non-colour. I have the uh, topical uh, Public House, I think. Yeah, Public House or Fresh Republic. Fresh Republic, that's the one. Uh, that's in. That's got the green tops. And then the red top, obviously, is this Black Horse Cider. So uh, I think that's definitely going to be my favourite one uh, that I've tried so far. Um, it's really fresh. I love the flavour. I've still got so much to drink, so I think I'm going to be absolutely lean by the end of today because I've still got a pint uh, half a jug and probably still a quarter of a, a jug left in the pinter itself um, for everyone who gave me the suggestions on not opening the back uh, the, the tap at the back to just use the, the pressure that's built up inside uh, it really did help I did have to leave for a few seconds just to let the the foam the fizz uh, dissipate but once that did it was fine so thank you very much for that um for the cooper's drops the person who suggested that to me i will give that a go it's just like i said i've been doing diy which is why i look like this and uh i forgot to do it basically i remembered today when i was actually doing it but i'll order some for the next one which will be the cloudy nine side of which i've got that's the last one uh that i have from when i ordered this part of 2.0 i decided i wanted to do this one first before i do that one so that will be coming up very, very shortly. Um, so, so yeah, thank you uh, to everyone, my recent subscribers or my OG subscribers. Thank you for helping me build this community or it will be a community. Uh, so yeah, until the next one, stay safe, take care, and I'll see you in a bit. Peace.